over all custom made. It's really like a gallery ring at a ridiculously good price and five flex pays on top of that. So don't miss out. That is just huge, 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 huge. That's funny that Turkey Hill has such a different, um, different style of uh, colors of Do you see the colors on it? And that it's all amazing. came out of From the From that green line. to that right. super vivid blue, it's pretty neat. All right, so what's happening here on HSN right at this very moment? Well, Jay King is here with us. He literally travels all over the globe. He's rarely home. And he's oh, finding snakes. us. Ooh, I hate snakes. He's finding us some of the most exotic and unusual gemstones in the world. So we can travel with him. We do it through his jewelry. We do it through his grand stories. We do it through uh, just being able to see some of the footage in the video. And you too can have a piece of this because this is kind of the history behind this great line. Jay's with me. I'm Suzanne. We got an awesome final hour. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> I'm totally ready. I'm not even taking this one off yet because I just love it, love it, love it. And I've layered it with another <coughs> lapis piece that actually is coming up towards the end of this hour. And so I didn't know that this wasn't supposed to be aired. I didn't even no, know we had this. This absolutely was not supposed to be on the air. And I'll show you, this is the piece coming up, but this is what fun you can have with this lapis. So think about if you have lapis at home and you want to layer, you can do that. But look at this. We are talking about sparkle and shine, stunning blue lapis color. One, two, three, four, five strands of some of the best lapis in the world, 18 inches, you get the extender, and this is called a this day only. Why is that even relevant or important right now? A this day only is like a mini today's special. The price is only good until midnight tonight, or in this case, I think this is gonna sell out. This is a $200 necklace that we didn't do a lame $10 off. We're at $129.98, and then you add, of course, that five flex pays. LJ. Okay. Okay. This is good stuff. That's good well, stuff. Well, and I have to tell you something. Okay, I just recently laid out a show, and I'm laying out another show here on Tuesday that we're doing. And you have to understand, I have to work way out, right? We're working out. We're, we're actually working into 2020 right now. Um, I will tell you, I laid the show out, and I realized in the show that I just laid out, there's one piece of lapis. One. You're kidding. One. Um, for, for how long? I know, I know that, I know when I lay it out to them, that when we lay the show out, I know I'm gonna hear about Marjorie's it. Marjorie's right? not gonna be happy. I, I already know I'm gonna hear about it. <laughs> but I don't really have anything, uh, that, that's it, that's all I had. Um, you, you know, I've been saying this, and mark my words, okay? I'm not just telling you to hype it or so that hope that you'll buy or anything. I, you know, I, it is what it is. The merit is what, what the stone merits, okay? Right. With lapis, um, for last year was just miserable. This year is beyond miserable, just insane. But why Literally, is that happening? Well, there's just no good material out there. You're not seeing this. You saw, like I said, um, when, when we filmed that, you saw, you know, they show that all the time. They show us hand selecting, get that. Do you know that I would, um, I know people that would give certain parts of their anatomy to be able to buy that grade of lapis right now. Really? Um, it's a serious shortage, guys. Very, very short. You're, the, any of the material, there's so much lapis out there right now. Um, not, nothing that, it's all things that I've passed on. Really? Um, not seeing anything Just bad new. lapis? You're not seeing any, any quality like this. You're not seeing these natural colors. What I'm starting to see now, a lot of people are doing to it. They're color enhancing. They're doing all, you can tell right away that, you know, you no can tell kidding. it's been enhanced. This is all natural, high grade. What I love about this, if you look at it, this is all the super high grade material that we've used over. And we've taken this and they've actually hand fasted all these beads. So you get that real uh, big bling. But I'm just telling you, if you want lapis, for me anyway, um, I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing it from anybody else. I'm not seeing anybody else that's competing with me that's buying the material and taking it somewhere else to make and they're paying more than I could pay for it. I'm not seeing that. I'm just not seeing any of the material. I can only, do I still have lapis? Of course, I still have lapis. I have really high grade lapis. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be cutting cabochons. You'll see more just like bracelet cuffs. Okay. Maybe you'll, you're, gonna, you're not gonna see beads though. I just don't have the material to burn in beads. So you're gonna see, you know, I'll still have rings, I'll have earrings, I'm gonna have pieces. But if you want neckwear, if you want a lot of beads, especially if you want anything that's got any bulk to it, um, you just, I'm just not able to do it. I can't afford to waste the material and cut it into beads. I just can't afford to waste so it. So this is it. All right, so here's the story too. Um, I've, I've made it long. So it's 18 inches. Again, you get the great long extender. I don't know how they did it because these beads are teeny weeny. 
But the fastening they on these beads. They do it with tweezers. They're amazing. <laughs> like the sparkle on this. This is what makes this lapis necklace very different from what Jay normally does. Jay will do, you know, cabochons, beautiful. Liz Lapis is gorgeous. This to me is day into evening. This is the one that can go uptown or it can be downtown. It could be with a pair of jeans, a great little jean jacket, a white tee, blues just popping. Or you put on a beautiful black dress and you're going out on your anniversary with your hubby or your partner. You throw this on, the sparkle and the quality of the lapis is literally top of the line. That's what I think makes this one so exciting. And then you get a great sale price and then you get five flex pays on it. But boy, oh boy, I'll tell you, this is going to be one, I believe, your go-to pieces. Can you imagine two? And just to give you an idea, if you already have one of Jay's lapis pieces, now this is one that does not have faceting on it. It's a great necklace. It's very gallery. This is so high-end Taos, New Mexico, Santa Fe style. But look at the combo together. This is when you start to drool. This is how you want to wear your jewelry. So if you already have a J lapis piece, look how this elevates it. It totally dresses it up. It just gives it a whole different bit of wow. Um, if this is by itself, it certainly would be a great piece and we have it available. And that's a great necklace. It's very unusual. But then you add this and then something magical happens. It just tells a whole different story. But I don't want you to miss out on this because of this day only, oh, sorry guys, is available for today and today only at that remarkable savings. We just popped the item number up for this if you'd like it. It's 652-506. And we'll give you, yeah, we'll give you more information later on. But Jay, you just did an outstanding job on this one. And it's amazing how dressy it looks because of that fastening. Well, what we've done, to, to be honest with you, on this is we took, um, took the smaller uh, pieces of lapis that we had, the really high grade, and we had a lot of this lapis. And I was thinking, okay, what can we do? I don't, it's too nice to throw away, right? What are we gonna do with this lapis? Because it is the super high grades, they're all the A grades. You know, how can we utilize this? And so we gave this as a project to um, a couple of our cutters and just said, when you don't have anything to do, start cutting these beads. Just when you guys have downtime or you have free time. Really? And they started cutting it. They literally take tweezers. Oh my god! They take these small nuggets and they sit there with a diamond flat lap and they hand fasten them. It, can you imagine the number of beads it takes to make a five strand necklace? How many beads do you, do you think are on here? Um, like five, six hundred? At least. Right I would say, me. right? I would say that, yeah, I, I would say that that's probably pretty close. Wow, oh my gosh. And you know, but think about the time, the effort that goes into doing this. And again, this isn't, this is really nice grade lapis. This is the kind of stuff that I need to buy. This is what I need to be finding. This, this is the, the type of material I need to be finding. When I knew I was in trouble, last year I did three trips. I bought less than 5%, 5% of the rough material that I normally get in any given year from when I go on my lapis buying trip, which I gotta tell you, is not an easy place to go, right. all right? It's because not, lapis comes from where? Anyway, yeah, it comes from the Hindukush uh, region of Afghanistan, Afghanistan, which I don't go there. I have somebody that's a, that brings it to me as a consolidator, but it's still not someplace that's on the, the map, okay? Um, and we hand select. So I go to all that time, all that trouble. Of course, I'm going to buy turquoise. I'm going to do different things also. And, but literally, we bought less last year less than 5% of what we get. So what's that mean? That means that I got stuff going out the front door <laughs> and I got nothing coming the in the back The pipeline is drying up. So the pipeline, eventually, I can't do that. So yeah, Why do you think everybody is, for literally centuries, been really fascinated with lapis? I mean, it dates back to... Okay, well, you think didn't about this. Cleopatra used to use crushed lapis on, on her, her eyes, eye, eye on her eye They actually, la crushed lapis, high-end uh, lapis, was used in a lot of the famous artworks. Like paintings, As right? paint, right, yeah, it's the yeah. pigment. Um, if you look at lapis, and it's still to this day what makes lapis so valuable is this. You know turquoise, like, you, do you know, like I always say, turquoise is, um, you don't find it in every continent all over the world. Mm -hmm. and that's why turquoise uh, is so, um, so, you know, so precious and so expensive. Lapis is even rarer. It only comes out of this really one, it, you can find it in Chile. You find lapis all over the world, but as specimens. But for jewelry grade and this quality, it all comes primarily, over 90% of it comes out of the Hindu Kush region of Afghanistan, where they're mining it, much like they've been mining it for 3,000 years of documented history. Marco Polo, when he went to China on the great, in the, they did the Great Silk Road, mm -hmm. 
when he came back, he came through this area. At that time, it wasn't called Afghanistan, right? And uh, when you went to Italy, one of the things he brought back was lapis. No kidding. The lapis that is in the scarabs and the artifacts in Egypt, in the pyramids and everything, you know, because the, they looked at it. Do you know where it came from? Hindu Kush region of Afghanistan no that shows the trade routes. So that showed that even ancient cultures, even ancient cultures really um, appreciated lapis and appreciated what it was and how unique it was. And I think it's amazing to this day we still do. You well, know, you know it's, we still some, are passionately yeah. in love with lapis. Well, and look at Laura, how she's uh, trisotted this. She's yeah, twisted, twisted it. it up. So there's actually different ways. And of course, you always have the two and three quarter inch extender on this. So it gives you the ability, you want to wear it a little bit higher, you can wear it a little higher, you want to wear it lower, you want to wear it lower. I'm just giving you a heads up for me, okay? Now, there might be somebody that that just has better lapis connections and they just know, I mean, they maybe they've got an uncle that I don't know about, <laughs> right? They do, I'm gonna find out who it is <laughs> yes. and I'm gonna, we're gonna be become gonna best, him. we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> um, but just from what I'm seeing and, and what I've been experiencing for the last couple of years. That's crazy. Um, and you were saying, okay, for your plan for how many months out? I plan, I'm already writing for next year. Okay, right and you now. have one lapis piece. I have one lapis piece in the, the, I'm writing a show and I'm not gonna tell you which one, okay? But I have to face the music Tuesday because we're laying out that show. And I was going through it again last night and then I realized I have one lapis piece. But that's because that's all I have. I mean, you know, I don't that's have crazy. anything I don't have anything in the cookie jar anymore. I've eaten all the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> well, and again, with this one, some of the fun that you'll have with this is, you name the color. Pink looks great with it. Brown in the fall looks great with it. Black looks fabulous. Red is great. A lot of times when I get to um, maybe uh, Memorial Day or, of course, the 4th of July when I was a military spouse, um, I always was searching for great red, white, and blue looks. And typically, instead of doing something super obvious, I like to be a little bit more subtle about it. Lapis you'll wear on the 4th of July and love it. This piece specifically, though, can be as casual as you want. Right now, a great pair of white jeans or maybe a white crop pan. You got a little tee and a little cute jacket. Jacket, perfect. Maybe you've got something printed that's got some deep blues in it. It's perfect. But then as you roll into the holiday season, the same necklace you just had on with a pair of blue jeans, you're turning around and wearing it to that holiday party because it's got a really beautiful elegance to it. There's no other stone in the world that even comes close to how beautiful I think the lapis stone is. And then you add that Gorgeous faceting. It almost looks like a whole bunch of like sparkly little blue diamonds on your neckline, but that's really what you're getting. There's a richness, there's a saturation, there's a sparkle and a liveliness to this that you're gonna love. So instead of buying maybe 20 different necklaces for holiday events or for day and evening, I think you can invest in this one and then have fun playing with it. And we talked about this earlier, Jay, too. I could even grab some of my turquoise from even the first hour. Turquoise and lapis love to be together. Jay has done some of his most successful pieces ever with that combination together. So if you have those, imagine now surrounding it with this voluptuous lapis necklace. Wouldn't that be neat? Right. You know, and, and here again, it's something you play back, but the main thing is the rarity of lapis. And again, it's not that there isn't lapis rough available. It's that you just don't, I won't buy it. I won't use this. This is the quality that I use. The, you know, we only use these real high blues. I don't so use any beautiful. of the junk. You know, it's funny. You can truly see it, even on camera. Yeah. You can tell you, that blue is you, spectacular. And you're going to see, if other people are doing lapis, you're going to see a lot of lapis. You're not going to see anything this, this quiet. That's it, Gord. Gorgeous. Now, look at this. This is what I was saying. Be voluptuous. Have fun with your pieces. Layer them together. Take your turquoise and put it on with your lapis. This is super cool. This one reminds me very much of Santa Fe, uh, New Mexico. You know, I was very fortunate to go there and it's beautiful and they have the most gorgeous galleries and then you go in and the prices take your breath away. Like you literally like, okay, I'm just turning around and going back out because I can't afford it. Check this out. I love this really kind of unique pyramid style, full lapis necklace. This actually, can we pop this one off, Jay? Do you think it'll come off? Yeah, it should. Right, should, should. Most, oh, there we go. Look at this. Here you go. So you get the necklace, all lapis. You get this really cool pendant. Wear them together, separate them out. It's lovely. What is the story behind this, Jay? Okay, this is one of our designers, you know, kind of more, and you know, like, and two is I, you know, I, I, I will tell you, I, I was one of those people um, that, you know, like you, when you go to these galleries and stuff, that's how I, that's how I got started, guys. Okay, making one of a kinds, right? What we do. 
um, yeah, the price is going to be be higher because you're making it as an artist. You're making that one, and that's really a fair price. Sure. You just got spoiled now because of that's how so true. Too. You really that's are true. getting spoiled. Everybody's <laughs> very spoiled. That is 100% true. Myself. And I don't know if you noticed, but did you see the savings on that too? Like it was crazy. It's coming up later though. All right, so we're going to keep rolling on. We've got about 45 minutes to go. Don't forget we have buy more and save. We have five flex pay and all of Jay's great jewelry. And now we have another brand new item. I love this. You know what it's like? It's like, it's like um, fireworks. You see one, you think, oh, that's just great. And then you see another, you go, oh, that's really great. And this is another one of those really unique pieces. It's called Indian Blanket. So where, where in the world did you discover okay. this? Well, this is mined in the United States. Cool. Oh, I love that. It's from one of our, you know, um, I guess what you call regional rock hounds, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> and what they would do, like, you know, like, well, I'm not really a golfer, okay, but like, I, I shoot a lot of sporting clays and things like that. I mean, that's, that's my relaxation. They go out and they do too, like what I do too, is, um, is you go out and they, they're, they live in the middle of nowhere and um, what they do is they go out and they look for new, uh, their rock hounds. They, they look for you, new I and unique areas. They seriously do. Areas, that, that's what they do. This is all mined. Okay, how they, this is a private individual that he's a rock hound, and they literally take their four wheelers, they drive their four wheelers up, then they hike in, they have hand picks and pry bars, they load that into backpacks they, on the weekend. Now, this is their oh, fun. Oh, it's like a hobby. This is their fun, okay? <laughs> so they haul it back down to their four wheeler. They load it on the four-wheeler, they take it back to camp, they dump it. If they, they might do that two or three times during that day, and then they'll do it the next day. They go out on the weekend, and then they load that all up, they go back to their house, they put it in their barn or whatever, they stash it, and then maybe a couple of weekends later, they got the weekend free, they go back out, they camp, <laughs> they do that, and that's how you get this material, okay? Um, so I think that that is incredible, that's unique. And then when you look at this, I always try to buy things from American miners, wherever possible, yeah, yeah. or rock counts. Uh, I mean, we're all cut from the same cloth. And so um, this is something very different, very unique. They call it Indian blanket, they named it. And if you've ever been in the Southwest and you've seen Native American blankets and yeah. stuff, oh, you've yeah, seen it. Yeah. And it, it really kind of is reminiscent of yeah, that. It also reminds me of uh, horses. What are the... Um, um, the, the horse, yeah, the... the which uh, ones that have that color coloration? Um, I can't remember, darn it. It's like on the top of my brain. Um, the spotted horses. Spotted horse. You know oh, pintos. Pintos, thank you. Yes, pintos. <laughs> it really does remind me of a pinto horse. Like, it's beautiful. Now, here's what's really neat. This is almost a burgundy. This is nature's burgundy. Well, they're all going to have different colors. But, but yeah, but so it is going to have cool. the reds. It's got all the difference. But it's the natural pattern. So you can see here, like, let's show you now. This is what's so unique. So you've you got another where so the pattern. Here's one, is and you're more, about to see another version. Yeah, we're in. We, yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Okay, so we, we, we try to, and this is what we try to do. In fact, if you go online, you'll see we put all kinds of the different colors that it comes in. So everybody, you realize that, you know, you're going to get, these are natural, but this is a natural material. That's so right. it goes from here it's, where it's got more, it's still got the burgundies, but it's got more of the purples and stuff in it too. It's true. And that's yeah. why they call it Indian blanket though, is because of the layering, the, the woven uh, type look that you have in this. Um, these designs, I mean, these are really gallery designs. They're all individually handcrafted, all hand done from scratch. From, so, I mean, this isn't for everybody. We don't make a lot of these, but these are truly gallery pieces. This mm -hmm. is something that if you went in there and you're not gonna pay this price for it, okay? But these are really literally individual works of art. Even you see the one Laura's wearing, mm -hmm. it's even a little bit different from that. Mm -hmm. Same really cool. basic design. But the material is so unique and so different. The material is always going to be a little bit different. We have five flex on both. Just so you'll s please notice on the cuff, I did. I was doing hang, hand math. It's like fifty dollars off, and that's for a brand new item. It's the first time we're airing it. It's the first time you're seeing it. So that's the cuff. I love how you did that great roping in the sterling silver. The contrast of the high polished sterling in between. That is a lot of silver on that piece. It's really a lot of a silver, lot. and all of that is all hand done. Okay. That's not cast, okay? That's all cut from the wire. 
um, there, that's all wire and sheet material mm. that the silversmiths, and that's the key thing here, you have uh, silversmiths that actually build the silver portion of this, and then a lapidaris, the lapidaris to cut that, cut that cabochon, give it to the silversmith, the silversmith will literally build the whole design around that cab or cabochons. They, they're they all built one at a time by hand. That's so cool. And then I just want to feature the necklace. I know we're wrapping up, guys. So the necklace is 18, all the stones all the way around. Then you have the pendant. The pendant can be removed. How cool is that? And you could take this and use the pendant on um, a piece of leather and hang it right here to give it a different look. So stay right there on sale. When we come back, a whole bunch more J King. So don't move. <laughs> HSN app. Turn on notifications and be the first to know about big sales and app-only deals. Go to your phone settings, then notifications, find HSN and turn on notifications. Download the app today. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. and I'm Suzanne Runyon. The talented, handsome, and oh, so fabulous Jay King is with me today. This is a fun show. Yeah, you're not gonna charge me later for saying that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, Jay, You, you know you have bucks. friends when they're really kind to I got you. PayPal, Jay, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've been very blessed to work with Jay for many, many years now, and every time, it's such a cool adventure, and now we have something, again, that's absolutely brand new. You've never seen it before, so thanks for joining us today. It's a great little ring, and we really haven't shown a lot of rings in the show, and this one has a whole different story to it. Now, this is called Nevada Border. Border. It's okay. boulder. Oh, boulder. boulder. Sorry, boulder. Okay, and there's a reason for that. Okay, go ahead and finish, then I'll tell you what no, it it's is. No, well, the sale price uh, is fabulous, okay. $79.98. Well, and bucks. here's the gig. Okay, this is brand new. Um, I, don't, uh, we, I, I don't think we've ever sh shown this before. Really? Um, it's Ooh. new, it's exclusive. It's by one of our designers. And also, just so everybody know, our viewers, right? Um, this is by viewer request. We had so many requests, and we do listen to you. I write down, in fact, um, if you're out there listening, we had a caller uh, the last show that came, and uh, she wants anklets. I've been driving myself crazy trying to design anklets. I tell you what, really? I, I've been dreaming of anklets now, <laughs> you know. Um, but t just so you know, when you tell me something, it doesn't, I just don't, you know, I write it down. Now, I can't, like I said, I'm writing into next year. It's not that I can, it's going to be on the next show, okay? Yeah. I don't have a magic wand. I mean, it takes a long time to make this stuff. But we had a, we had a lot of requests for individual standalone rings. Standalone earrings, yeah. standalone pendants. So this is what we're doing with this, and that's why you're seeing this design. But uh, this you... material is very, very limited. Same thing. Uh, I'm not going to mention him by name because then everybody will be calling him. Okay, so I'm, uh, that's why I'm hiding his identity. I always will. The person who makes the turquoise bowls, okay, he's an artist in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is from his private collection. Not the that's ring, cool. the material, okay? The stone. Yeah, the, the material, this is Nevada Boulder turquoise. Okay, and this is out of his private turquoise collection. Now, are you seeing a big beaded necklace? Are you seeing a huge uh, design with this? No, that's because this is really, really limited, okay? Wow. We've, you know, you can only, I mean, there's a very, very small quantity of this material. It's a so pretty So this is something stone. highly collectible. 
Really a unique look. But if you look at this design, do you love this design? I love it. I absolutely love Isn't it. That, it's just, I love the way. It's so interesting. It almost looks like four rings that have actually been, and basically it is, four rings that have been put together. But I love, here's here's how it comes up. Notice, look how it twists. And then it separates. It's almost like a little person's holding up the top. And then there's this little extra leg here. So but it's I, almost like a tree. I mean, yeah, it's it looks like, like a tree, like a tree that's yeah. come up. A tree trunk that's come that's up. so And then cool. it supports it. And then, that's so pretty. unique, uh, brand new design, gallery uh, look. And then with a very rare, rare turquoise material. I wish I had more of this. And this, this material, I can't say for sure, but just knowing when it was, the mine was open, I would say it's probably mined in the 70s. Really, it's that yeah. old? It's that old. And he, yeah. again, was hoarding it. Like, he just has a little bit. He's just like me and so many of us <laughs> all that have that connection right, right. <laughs> that we have to we just uh, you know stash things and hide things so and then funny. we realize that eventually we're going to have to share this sometime right. you know I came from a big family, so we used to hoard and, sh and not share. <laughs> That's right. Dinner hide. must have been interesting. No, no, you had to, you had to hide. And if you weren't a good hider. <laughs> so I, I not only was a good hider, but I was the oldest male, so I was a good finder. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I was, you know, it's just in my blood. I love this, but I love, you know, that somebody... For him to, to actually sell this, to, to give, give up. up the rough, yeah, right? Yeah. And, you know, like, uh, sometimes I, I watch these reality shows and I see these people and I go, oh my, that's sad, you know, and everything. And then I realize, well, that's exactly how you are. <laughs> you know? oh, but, the hoarding but, thing. But, I'm, I'm a hoarder, but I have to tell you this. I'm an organized hoarder of really cool stuff and all my stuff is organized and everything's in its place and you can really see it. You, I mean, you can, no, yeah. it's not just crammed in boxes okay, and so stuff like that. You yeah. have paths you can get no, through. No, 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 there's no paths. I mean, it's really, it's very, very organized. <laughs> well, it is. And again, he's hoarding gemstones which I, is a I pretty good gemstones. thing to hoard if yeah. you're gonna hoard something <laughs> it is go, let's go with gemstones from around the world i i'll tell you this one really has a very distinct personality to it it does and if you look at it but you have to look at not just the material you have to look at the art yeah around okay it. Yeah. this is really this is really wearable art if you look at it, where would you see something like this uh i dare you to go to any of your regular jewelry stores or, you know, the, and go out there. Even if you're, if you're in my neck of the woods, um, you That's might fine. be able to go in and see something kind of like this and stuff. You're not going to see this exact piece. Well, no, wait. But, and if you were, seriously. Seriously. In a gallery, let's say in Taos. Well, or even any of them, Scottsdale, any of the surrounding areas, even in Albuquerque, to be honest with you, if you go out and look around, um, you're going to see that, um, yeah. It, you know, these, this is, yeah. everybody is spoiled, including myself, right? And because I'm a so manufacturer, true. So true. I'm used to just wholesaling, okay? So that's kind of what we're doing here. We're kind of like wholesaling um, on, to, on the show. I mean, because you're really buying, we, we are the manufacturer. We are the person who's doing everything from but, scratch. But I think, Jay, that's the reason why I bring it up constantly, is you really you need to appreciate seventy nine ninety eight for this ring. I mean, it's all custom made. It's well, all sterling also, silver. If you're it's a very unique collector, stone. If right. you're a collector, right. this is something that, that's highly collectible. Okay, five through 12 are the sizes we have. Do not miss out on this one. I know it's really limited. And again, first time we've ever seen the stone, which is pretty neat. I've certainly never seen it before. So we're gonna wrap up on it, but you can still stay on the line or go to .com if you wanna order your size before they are sold out. All right, Tampico, we're gonna talk about this one next. Another brand, to, brand new piece. So unusual, when I first saw this, I thought that kind of looks like a feather, like an interpretation of a feather on there. It, you know, and this again, it's another gallery design, brand new. And this is a material, the Tampico shell, um, it actually comes from Texas, and we bought this from a young couple that, who dived for it. Uh, this is another Dived. thing. Dive. Oh, I think they said dive. No, for, they dive. Like, wow, that's for D I D. No, that's commitment. There. Dived. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't and, think there's a stone um, in the world I would actually I dive for. I have this, you know, and they brought it to us. Uh, I've had this for probably close to 10 years. Have you really? Now, this is all set that in sterling so silver. Cool. Look at the silver work on this. Okay, this is really, really something very unique, very special. Um, very contemporary look. All the shell and everything's all hand carved. But look at the silver work and how they form the silver. And again, that's not cast, that's all hand done that they do right there. It takes forever to do a piece like this. High polish, very contemporary. 
I love that. And then the same shell that goes up along the, uh, the back, right? Right. So it's the exact same thing. Isn't that cool? And again, got through two and three quarter inch in the back. You can take this off and just wear the necklace itself, which would be pretty fantastic. All right. We got another lapis piece. Now, my producer, Rocky, said, Suze, <laughs> as much as you like to talk, you're not going to talk long about this one. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. In fact, right after we gave you guys a peek at it, he gave me an update, and we're down to final quantities on this. So it's a third of the way gone from right. that little quick mention. There, you know this whole kind of part of this hour feels like to me? You really did walk into a gallery. In, well, down in the this, these are limited editions. They were actually part of our our, uh, our gallery collection that we did. Uh, I won't, uh, since we've been talking about this, I'm not going to really go into it anymore. But, you know, you're just not really going to see this quality of lapis. I, I will have, I don't want everybody to say, oh, my God, he's never going to do lapis again. Yes, I do have lapis. I have some really super high quality lapis. What I'm lacking is high quality bead grade material where I can actually cut beads. Everything that I have left is creme de la creme. I can't not, I cannot cut it into beads. I just absolutely can't Which do that. Which means it'll be cabochons. It's big. gonna be cabochons. Okay. There'll, be, there'll be big cabochons. I'm gonna be doing a lot of, you'll still see a lot of, of presents, a lot of silver designs. Um, I, I will be able to incorporate that into my shows. But as far as you're used to seeing a lot of, and I, I'm gonna miss it to be a real honest with you. I'm not looking forward to this, but unless something drastically changes, if something drastically changes, then I will start incorporating my material that I have in the warehouse. If, if I know that I have things that I can bring in and replace it, then I'll start using that material. But until then, I just can't because um, I just need to stretch there, right? it out. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so I dashed it off because I wanted you to see, in case you missed out a little earlier, we have this multi-strand lapis necklace, and I think we're down to maybe a couple hundred left. It's gorgeous but look at this when you start having fun this is when you really can play with your jewelry this is where you can really just go okay i'm just going to load it on this one's so stunning and it would even be better is if you took this off because you can and you can wear it as a with a one of jay's sterling silver collars and do a triple design so this would sit right here or take this piece and wear it higher and have this surround or frame it down below we are going to give the information on this because it was such a huge hit earlier but this is limited I also think it's a little bit like a pyramid. I like the optical illusion well, of the silver do you, work. do you see how they made this? And it's actually three-dimensional. So, so cool. it's not just a flat inlay, right? right? Look at that. Do you see that? It's, it's, and think about the, okay, but, okay, think about the complexity of this. They make the sterling silver setting, the sterling silver design. Then they give it to the lapidaris, and the lapidaris is the one that does the inlay. They have to, for each one of those Spaces that after the silversmith did that they give that to the lapidaris They have to hand cut each one of those and it custom fit them They do that with a little diamond dremel tool and actually hand carve each one of those inlay it when they get it all inlaid Then it's like it's got you know it then they take it and they buff it all down level it all out and if you know if I, What happens is if there's any little crack or anything like that? They have to pop that out oh. and redo that whole section. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. It is. It just has this really unique dimensionality, very, very reminiscent of a gallery piece. Again, this is the kind of stuff, if you're lucky enough to go down to the Southwest and you go into these very fine, very individual kind of galleries, this is the kind of, these are the pieces that you see. They're the ones that you kind of go, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I so wish I could have that. Now, understand, our savings is pretty impressive on this one. Originally it was on the air for $234.90. We're all the way down to $159.90 and you have the five flex today, which I dare say we did not have when it was $234. So we're talking what, Rocky, about 70 some dollars off? We're $75 off and just a handful of them to go around. So if this is your personality, if you love this look, if you just want to try lapis, if you just want something very unusual, very art, I think there's a lot of artists in this, a very unique design, then please don't miss out on this one. I just think that is one of the coolest pendants I've seen in a while. Now, we also have the other necklace available. I'll kind of give you a quick update right at this very moment. To me, this is very downtown, uptown. You can wear this super casual. You could put it on with blue jeans, or you could wear it with a gown and go to a gala fundraising event. We've sold 600. I'm down to the final 500 remaining. Now, why is that so significant? Because when we hit midnight, at tonight, midnight tonight, the price will be $200. 
that's a huge savings. The only problem is, is if you wait, it'll be $200 tomorrow. You're like, oh, I really love that necklace. Oh, why is it $200? The price ends tonight at midnight. It's like a mini today's special. Right now, $129.98. And as Jay, you said, finest grade you can get, really rare now. We're not well, gonna see this one again. It's the finest grade bead material or material that you could utilize for that. Also, the very small beads. Okay, think about this, where they actually take these, and they, each one of those, they actually take an, a, a nugget of lapis and they hand facet that. They take tweezers to cut that. So that, that's how you get that bling. And when you see that, when you back off of that, you see the light, the sparkle, yeah, the that. movement out of it, you're just sparkling, gleaming. The, the key here is that it's, it's a great layering piece. It's a great individual standalone piece. Uh, Suzanne was saying it's great. You could dress up with this. Oh, yeah. You could dress down. You could dress casual with this look. You could dress up with this look. Uh, this would be something that if we were invited to a, a, a dinner where everybody, I can't wear my blue jeans, which <laughs> would been be a happening. sad place. It's a sad place, but it happens every now and then <laughs> where I'm not allowed to wear blue jeans. I'm dictated to wear, tell Jay he can't wear dictated. his blue jeans. No, I, it's actually said Jay can't wear his blue jeans. <laughs> Because he would. I if you would. could, you would. I know, I would do it anyway. <laughs> All right, now, gang, I'm going to leave both these necklaces out here because we're going to move on to that really super cute earring you see on Laura right now. We've got a different color co color combinations, but maybe you just don't have a great earring to go back to something else you've seen from Jay or thinking about getting from Jay. This is a great uh, pair to choose. We have turquoise, we have the lapis, and then I'm going to pop this out because, look at this, I'm going to like drive you crazy. Check out this necklace. Now we have not given you a full look at this, but we have the matching earrings to go back to this piece that's coming up. Yeah, that'll be next actually. In fact, thank you, love. All right, but so But it Jay, will go back to those earrings perfectly. It's perfect. Because it has perfect. same, um, actual same color. Con color, all so right. So actually, that's very good. So How Jay, walk us in? through this earring, will you? Okay, so you know, you've got, uh, here again, we have these on clearance. The, the, the reason we have them on clearance is we just don't have a lot of them. We yeah. made, actually, there were actually three other designs too. These are the kind of the last of the last that we have on this. You've got the lapis, here again, if you see the lapis, which is right behind, you can see it peeking it's out right from behind the here. sun. There and there's only go. 50 left here. Okay, and look at the grade of this lapis. Okay, anytime you're using any, any, of, the, any of the lapis material, that goes into any of our, for cabochons or something like this, where an earring, a ring, a cuff, it is the ultimate, super high grade. Look at that, this is the highest grade that it. really I have yeah. right now. Great look, contemporary. So, then you've got that beautiful Chilean turquoise in that. So you get that really no, nice, pretty, soft pretty. Chilean material. And then it goes into the salmon coral. And you saw we have that lovely necklace that's coming up later in the show. This one's so that pretty. will go back to that perfectly. Okay, the, the reason me, Jay, we're doing the this lapis is sold out. Okay, is viewer request. Viewer request is the reason we did this in the first. We take an, a dynamite design earring and then um, we say, okay, everybody, all of our designers, we all get together and our buyer and we say, we love this design. So then we offer it in a myriad of colors of different rough materials. And we do that um, because we have so many viewers that have said, look, can you do standalone earrings? We, I, I own one of your turquoise necklaces. I own a lapis necklace. I own coral. I just need something that, an earring that'll go back to it. Or just an earring that that's all I want to accessorize with. I just want to have a really cool contemporary pair of earrings to have for the day, just to have that splash of color around my face, just to, that accent piece. I really don't want to wear a necklace. I just want just the earrings. And so that's why we came up with this. And it's been, it's one of the things that we're doing, it's viewer request that they, that's what they're requesting. And because we don't have a lot of these left, a lot of quantity, not enough to give them a full airing, they've just said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. And they've given you the price. Now at this price, I couldn't, manu and I am the manufacturer, I could not buy the silver rough material, I could not buy the turquoise or the coral, any of the rough, and then afford the labor and be able to put that together and sell it for that price. Yeah, not this gonna This is happen. literally, you, you would not see it at that price. He cringes when this happens, actually. You can't see it because he's off camera, but he's like, geez, I know how much I had to put into well, that I, one. It's not that I cringe, it's just, the thing is, is I know how much I have in it. Well, no, right? yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, it really is the practicality of the, of the it's story. It's the reality. It is the reality, the reality of the, the story. reality and, of And you know what, and lucky us, right? The those of us who want a great pair of earrings, what I think is kind of neat is we do have this necklace 
was coming up. But if I moved it away, which I'll do here real quick, this is a really great earring. And whether you have really short hair, you've got medium long hair, both of these styles will work so nicely back to it. You can take this and just wear it with a sterling silver necklace, and it really is a great standalone piece. Just put a sterling silver necklace on, wow, add a little pop of color to your ear, that just really completes your look. Now on the flip side, you might have a lot of turquoise. I just grabbed this turquoise beaded necklace. We featured it last hour, right? I think it was last hour. I can give you some information on it, but literally I just grabbed it and you say, hey, you know what? That works. But same can hold true for these. If I removed it and you just had a great sterling silver necklace, but you wanted to add some color near your face, either one of these are a great choice. So if you say, well, I don't really have a peach necklace. I've got that solved here. But if you don't want to pick that up, just wear it with sterling silver and it'll look fantastic. And boy, I'll tell you, I love this design. I think that it's so much fun having that teardrop style. It just, I think, looks really um, very um, complimentary on any face, shape, or size. So we're going to wrap on that because my producer said we got to move on. We got to get all this in. Are they gone? Okay, so they're almost completely sold out. So we are moving on. Can I keep the peachy ones at all? Or are they really sold out? Sold out? Are they gone, gone? Okay. Oh, darn. <laughs> I was going to, I was going <laughs> to keep that with this necklace. <laughs> He's like, no, really, Suze, they are gone. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. So now we've got salmon coral. Now it's interesting. We had a coral necklace earlier that had little bits of coral. Right. That one I bought courtesy of my producer because like, my phone wouldn't work in the studio. I yeah, was literally trying to Yeah, but that coral, you can't even get that. Coral. Can't get that coral at all. But then we had colors of coral. Right. Remember the, the ones kind of rainbow. Right, you can get the different colors. I've not seen us do salmon. Right. This is a beautiful coral. It's been a long, long time since that. This, this material probably dates, I, you know, I, I'd have to, I, I'd have to uh, get into it, but the rough material, just knowing what I know. Yeah. Probably this was harvested late 70s, mid 80s uh, at the latest. Really? Where did you find earliest. it though? You know, these, these are things that I buy that, you know, as we buy them and then we just stock up on them. Um, you know, sometimes I'm buying material that is harvested. In most corals were harvested at that time period, but I don't stock them. In this case, this is something I had in stock that I've, you know, that I've kept the rough material. When I say in stock, I don't mean I have the necklace in stock. I don't mean I have the beads in stock. I mean I have the coral. The rough. I have the rough coral. And you've I, had it for how long, do you think? At least, at least seven years, maybe have more. You really? Maybe longer. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, I'm a hoarder, but I'm letting go. You really kind of are. Freeing, like so. we've had what, like four or five stories tonight where he said, yes, it was in my warehouse and well, I'm letting it free. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, beautiful. you just can't, you know, like, um, I'm, I know that I've got this. I need to keep it new. I need to keep it fresh. But it's things that we just really haven't put out. So, we, you know, we, we want to we keep the show interesting. And how you do that is two ways. You do it with designs. You also do it with materials. This has it both going on. It's, it's you've got a unique design. design here, unique bead cuts, and you've got a very unique material. Now you're like, Look okay. at this, how this will go. And I mean, it goes with everything. Cool. It does. Especially, it's amazing, Especially, i got to right? tell you, I just saw a lot of the color swatches. I don't design like that. You know, I have people inside that always tell me what color is popular. I don't really care. <laughs> to be honest with you, I just do because it looks cool. Right. But if you look at this, and these are a it's lot pretty. of the colors that are coming up. Exactly. And that's why I wanted to grab some darker tones. Because <laughs> I think when you see something that's peachy and light and kind of pinky, corally color, you're like, well, yeah, that's great for right now. But when it gets, you know, cold. But look at this. Yes, right now, here, look at that combo. If you wear a lot of coral, you're going to love it. But look at that. I love it with the green. Kind of transforms. It just takes on a whole different personality. Let's go to something like this. That's like a fuchsia purple. And yeah, isn't that cool? It actually works. Works. And then you finally see, check really that out. That is that. just a, that's a navy blue right there. That really pops. And then finally my last color is going to be a denim. And of course that's going to work great with denim. That is a fun, fun piece. And it's almost sold out. So don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. I do think when we see light stones, we go, oh, that's just for summertime. No, absolutely. Take this one and wear it with all your uh, fall clothes. I think it looks Okay, beautiful. you see Laura right there. Do you see like that to me? Okay. To me, that really just goes together. I mean, yeah. that pops. Yeah. That looks great. Yeah. Um, it's just, even what she's wearing, it just all blends together so nicely. It's just a really nice look, nice accent. And if you were lucky, can you imagine if you top that off with those earrings? Oh. If you were able to oh, get those yeah. earrings and match yeah. that back to that, that would really, really finish it off nicely. Yeah, and if you didn't, we're sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> those earrings really did look great. It did look they great. They were really good. All right, it's now sold out, so we're going to wrap up on that okay. one. All right, you got a couple of seconds. Now, let me tell you what's going to be happening. We're going to look at my lapis necklace again. In case you missed out, this is going to be our final look at it. And then we're going to take um, one of the last couple 
Apple looks at our best value of the day. So if you've been hanging out with us and you're like, oh my goodness, I didn't know Jay had one, hang with me in just a couple of minutes, we'll get to that one. Um, Oh yeah, and my producer's telling me, um, Jay only has two one hour shows that are separate. One's at eight and one's at 11. So this is the last big show that he'll do today. So it's a good time to pick up our today's special and you'll see that in a few. I'm gonna grab that from you, Miss Jenna. Thank you, darling. All right, here we Suzanne's go, Suzanne's only one brave enough to work with me for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I drew the short straw. We were all back there. I knew there was, some, I knew there was there. a lottery. My no. mom used to tell me, you know, the only way I could get the puppies to play with you is hang a pork chop around your neck. <laughs> so I kind of feel the same thing. I think Do I'm being shunned. <laughs> Never, ever, ever, Jay. Okay, guys, really in all seriousness, <laughs> the problem with working with Suzanne is we we're fall. both not very serious people. No. <laughs> and so we have too much fun sometimes. But I will tell you right now, and here again, is, you know, if you're going to want lapis, guys, okay, and don't believe me, don't, you know, don't believe me, um, but for like high blues like this, really nice material, especially if you want necklaces and beads. Uh, now, I'm not saying hopefully... I'm gonna have, be able to do more. I'm working on it right now. Um, we're really just desperately working on seeing what material we can, we can let go of. Um, I don't wanna get my stock so low on lapis that I don't have basics where I can do, uh, do cabochons you know, for bracelets and everything. You can't cut a lot of beads and neckwear. <clears throat> it wastes so much material when you do that. You just go through so much material. But I, I, want, I want you to look at the merits of this. You got five strands. Look at the color of this lapis. Okay, this is the lapis that everybody wants. This is the color, this is what you want. You want those nice deep blues. You can see in there the nice pyrite, the silver pyrites, the gold pyrites that are in there. That's the lazuli portion of this. Look at the size of the beads. If you look at it, the, they're really, really, really small beads. These, they literally take tweezers and they, sit there and facet that on a diamond lap wheel. They're all hand faceted, but they're individually done. This isn't something that I actually assign this and say, okay, I want you to make this design. Um, when we're cutting, when I have lapidaries, they, they have, um, there might be like 10 or 12 of them that have this lapis material, the small material, sitting by their, their desk. And they're working on a project. So they're working on a certain projects, maybe they're cutting cabochons or whatever. When they run out of work to do, and they didn't have anything to do, and they had some downtime, they cut these beads. They're very time consuming. So, but it gives them something to do, and I'm able to cut these. Um, can you imagine the number of beads that it takes to make five strands of this? And here again, we took super high grade, A, a grade material, and we made these very small beads. But we couldn't cut big cabochons out of it, I couldn't cut big beads out of it, because the material wasn't big enough. So that's how we were able to do this project. This was, this, um, we've been cutting this for several years, to be honest with you, as, as they've had these projects. I do the same thing with turquoise, I do the same thing with opal. Right, yeah, and I love the results. Well, like it's, it's sparkly, a great result, well, it's but it's something it's that you can't, just, I couldn't oh, sit somebody down and do this. If I did that, the cost of this necklace would probably be about four or $500. If I said, okay, <laughs> here, sit down, and I want you to cut this, yes. because it's so labor intensive. So intensive. But when yeah. they got downtime and they're not doing anything, right, and, right. They're, and they just need busy work, this is something they can do. And look at the results for all of us. Okay, now why has this been so popular? It's because it's our this day only. What does that mean? It's just like it's today's special, but a mini one. The price will go up to almost $200 at midnight. We've only got a couple hundred left. And remember, extension on the back. Coming up next, one of the last looks at our very best value of the day.
You sure it's number one? You sure it's <laughs> our, your countdown was right? <laughs> I'm just dogging out my director right now. <laughs> He's been going 10, 5, 15, 10, 5, 1, you're on. Uh, yeah, 2, 4, 8. Uh, you, Jay, just look at the camera and smile. <laughs> okay, did we already run the little today's special thingy? Did I miss it? Should we do it now? Oh, let's do it. Just go. Just go. One. <laughs> Like two giggly girls. See what here they're today. doing? They're messing with her, but it's messing with me. It's right? still like messing yeah. with everybody. I'm so bad. All right, hi. I'm Suzanne Chase here. This is one of our last looks at the Today Special. We'll be on a little bit later, but this is the last big block with Jay today. Um, and it's gorgeous. Um, when Jay, I love it. When you go to do a Today Special, I, I personally get pretty enthusiastic about it simply because I know you won't disappoint and I know it really will be something spectacular. Well, this is spectacular. I love the look. You see it on Lauren. That, that really says, you know, that says it all. Yeah. I mean, you know, wow. I, lo I love this look. We got one B bits of skew there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Other one? <laughs> oh, there oh, you go. you were so close. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, there we, we had one that was going south on us. Whoops. I think you got it turned around. You're going to need to turn it, flip it to the faceted side. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> She'll, work that. She'll work that one out. <laughs> <laughs> but what I love about it is that you have this big, bold look. We've, we've done this design. We've done it in two different materials. So we've done it in the coral, and we've done it in this brand new, first time ever, just released. It was released today only. Um, this is that brand new Indigo Blue Appetite. This is a brand new mind find. This is, as far, this is the world launch of this material. I don't know of anybody else that has this. Like I said, I, I found this about two years ago. We got it out of the ground. A, 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 it took us about a year to get it out of the ground. And then as soon as we got it out of the ground, we got it to the lapidary shop. We started cutting it and we, we decided, okay, we've got enough material. We're gonna do something really special, really unique with it. So this is really like the world launch of this material. And this is kind of like the creme de la creme of appetites. It's really amazing, You very, very unique, uh, natural material. And it's got the property of chatoyancy. It's so it's got that wet look, that gleam, that sparkle. Um, that, it's got a depth uh, to it. A lot of people call it like the t cat's eye look. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like the cat's eye look where you can see it, where it glows. It looks like everything's got like, the, it looks like people are, uh, people have little um, little lights yeah. and they're inside the natural material and they're inside, they're locked in there and they're shining their lights. That's really kind of uh, uh, the effect that this uh, material has. And you'll 100% notice how unique it is when you get it at home. Uh, like we're doing a really pretty decent job on it today, but uh, for me, I wore it the other day on the air and I got done off the air and I went to take it off and I said, wow, something really caught my eye, right? And I said, I'm gonna, I stopped and really looked at it. Like a turquoise, I can see a turquoise a mile away and go, okay, I get it, that's great, that's fine. This this one actually stopped me in my tracks, and I really took a couple minutes to appreciate that chatoyancy, because I even, I had never seen a stone like that before. Um, certainly I've seen chatoyancy, but not in this color either. And so it's really kind of impressive when you get it at home, you'll be like, wow, this is so cool. And I think it'll make it even more uh, exciting when you really see it in person. All right, so we have two colors. What's the Today Special? If you are new, it is our very best foot forward for an entire day. The problem with the Today Special is if we hit midnight, and we hit a new day, this will go up to $164.98. Now that is certainly a very fair price for amazing gemstones like this. Very large stones, all the workmanship that goes into it, the hand artistry into it, everything about it, that's a great price at $164. It's spectacular when it's $129. The only key is you have to get it before midnight tonight. If you want the coral, I think the red is fantastic. Um, Jay, what impressed me the most is how much much stone you use to make it, especially well, two rel rather to relatively rare stones. And, and, and both of these right here, they're, they're very, these raw materials, they're very limited in quantity, right? It's not like I just backed up the semi-tractor trailer and said, load it up, boys, okay? It just doesn't work like that. And these were both materials that I had in my private stash um, that this is a great shot. If yeah, they want to show that, the bump shot. Yeah, if you want to sh really show off. This is what off it really looks like. Okay, yeah. do you see? Do you see this? <laughs> yeah, it's do you see it? Look, look at that. Where it glows, it has that glow to it. When you get it out and you get it into natural lights, and you don't have it here, um, it, it kind of, it kind of, when the camera it gets shaded. I get, I got to tell you, it looks totally different if you walk on set, set, and we're just sitting here and we're looking at it, and then you see it on camera. 
and you go, hmm, wow, you know? Uh, <laughs> right, I, I right. guarantee you, if you like it here, when you get it, when you when it gets home to you and you pop Open it out of the box, box you're gonna go, whoa, you yeah. know, this is cool, this is cool. It's it's almost like electric. It's almost like neon. It, it you know, it almost has that feel to it. It's twine. Well, you get a better sense of it with the smaller beads, with the, the bluish of the smaller yeah, you, bleeds. You can see that it. gives you a little bit better sense of really how cool that stone it, is. It's just a really uh, amazing, amazing color. Here again, this is something, and this is what Mind Finds really is about. It's it's kind of my life, and it, it's it's my theme and what I do is we find, we go around the world, we search for things like this that you've never ever seen, that have never really been commercially marketed. Um, we've, over uh, 40 plus years, we've just developed this whole, um, we've, uh, a whole uh, troop of people that call us and say, okay, I'm calling you first. That's what happened here. We saw this first. They showed it to us first. We got one sample. I, you know, they, they got one sample, believe it or not, it wasn't at the Tucson Gem Show. It was somewhere else I was at. Seriously? I was doing something totally different. And what they were said, you looking for when you, found this, said, when you saw the sample? Um, we were looking at other gemstones at that time, gemstone rough, I believe sapphire really? is what I was doing. And they brought this and out? The, and that's when the person brought it over, said, look, yeah, you gotta check this out before that we got this coming up. So um, it was excited about it then, I'm excited about it now, because now that's you're great. seeing the finished product. Um, but this is something, if you're, you're that person who just likes things that are different, that are unique, that not everybody has, then that, that's, uh, I'm, I think that that's what draws people to mind finds. Mm -hmm. You can, I guarantee you, when you tune in, you're gonna turn in and you're gonna see things like this. You're gonna see things that are new, different, unique, all the designs, they're all created by us. We do them all from hand, by hand, all from scratch, from the genuine materials, from the rough uh, stock materials, all the silver work we do directly, all the designing we do in-house. So it's not like we're going out and buying anything else for, so you're not gonna see designs that we do everywhere else that you go. Right. And also we control the number that we make and also there, it's highly controlled. Um, I'll do it a reorder once in a blue moon. Something like this that was a today special or that was an upsell item, never. Right. Never have done it ever. Well, okay, in my even career. if you thought you could, you'd never match the price again. Oh, well, you'd never match the price, but right. I just never would do it again. Right. It, you know, that's kind of the exclusivity of it, right. is once you bought that and it is an exclusive, that's it. That's It's one and done, and we won't do it ever again. Can you take us to the coral? Because that's becoming increasingly difficult to come up Okay, by. well, here's the thing with the coral. In this particular coral, there is no new harvest of, of coral that I buy anyway. I mean, they are still har harvesting like Mediterranean coral, a, a Hawaiian black coral, but you're talking tens of thousands of dollars, okay? Really? Tens of thousands of dollars. I'm not gonna tell you how much I just spent on a coral necklace for my wife. We went to Greece and I made the mistake of stopping on the way back in Italy. <laughs> and oh, that, that was the most expensive day of my <laughs> life. You know, um, was but it coral? Mediterranean coral. Was it but really? it was just, oh, was it? It, we, we both walked by it and I said, <laughs> uh -oh. I said, I, I made, I said, she, she stopped and I stopped and I said, no, no. She goes, look, I gotta go look. And we went back and looked at it, they had it. And corals, I'm just telling you, okay, uh, especially like the Mediterranean corals and corals in general, even this coral here, uh, it's not like I don't have access to it. You just don't get any bulk. Can, can, you know, people will have like, maybe they'll have like 100 kilos. Um, or they maybe have 20 kilos. That doesn't do me any good. Right, right. You know, I don't have enough to do a project. Now, if I well, was- Well, how did you do this? Because this is <coughs> a, I mean, again, we don't have 25,000 of any of this, but how were you able to do this? Okay, so somebody called me up. Uh, I've owned this, just so you know, I've owned this material for a long time. Right. I just didn't recently acquire it. Oh, okay. this is part of your letting go of your hoarding stuff. Yes, yes. Have you gotten therapy on this recently? And they're like, Jay, you really need to go in and get, did someone at your office say, Jay, there's too many buckets, please start making some stuff We, this. we really. Is that really what it was? Well, no, it comes down to, if you want to keep it new and different, you've got to start letting some of this go. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that I want to share it, 
Well, it's just like, a, but it's just like me with a lot of our friends. They have stuff. I know people, I would love to get in there. I would love to get in their warehouse. You know, just give me about an hour in a pickup truck. Because <laughs> I know they, and the thing is they tease you, you know that they got it. Yes. They're miners too. You, you miners hoard all it. the time too, they, yeah. you know. So, you know, you're getting the uniqueness of this. You're getting this unique coral. What I love about them though too is any of the accessories, you can mix match. This is something that's very special. It's done as a today's special for a reason. They are unique, they are different, and these are things that you're just not gonna see out there, okay? Okay, Jay, let me give you a scoop. Uh, 18 inches, of course, much longer because of the way it tips down, but you have two and a, a three quarters of an inch to work with on your extender on it. We've got matching earrings, I've got bracelets. In fact, I have a lot of earrings and a lot of matching bracelets, and we have matching rings as well. Jay, that was fun. Okay. I know you're up later. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah, actually. And our, yeah, and Suzanne are working. We still got three more days, two yeah. small shows it's tonight. It's gonna be fun. Coming up next, Helen, she's got great beauty ideas. Hi, everybody. We're already having fun here on the set. My name is Helen Keeney. We have an entire hour to make your hair look amazing in like, what, two seconds? The prices are phenomenal. And we're going to jump right in. I'm going to